I'm at home with my mom was at home I was home at home I was 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 at home Things going on at the rock that way. Time that we got right now. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. Right up. There it is. Good. Come on, I, I'm at. I have a lot of work. I I am a lot of I am a lot of work. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of work. For you, for anybody, for becoming a full-fledged volunteer. These people we just have on there so that we don't forget about them because we haven't seen them lately, but they did want to be uh, junior volunteers. Next one, uh, not today because there wasn't any school and it was after uh, Thanksgiving, but uh, next week we'll have our Friday fun free activity. Tomorrow the rock will close for the Parade of Lights. Five o'clock uh, is when we'll close or maybe a little bit earlier than that uh, because we need to take the float all the way around and by the by the library we are number I think 56 and yep. I think they're like 65 or something like that papers over there yeah I gotta remember that paper because um, it tells where we fall in place oh we'll miss that and you Eric what are you asking um you guys should get you should the place the table because it is really acting up. It won't count each other's scores all that often. Like whenever it even What are you talking about now? Yeah. And it's gonna be at St. Luke's across the town over by Clark Park and it'll be de December uh, doesn't say uh, December, which December. oh the first December. weekend December. in December which is the first next and weekend. second it's next weekend. A week uh, from today. Yes. Today and that'll tomorrow. be five to eight and then three to seven. We always close the rock on the Saturday, and we take teens. And they right jumped in and helped. Our car, though, our car is broken right now. I right, talked to my brother; he might be able to help. Okay. We've got like three-year-olds getting. Well, the problem is, is how old is he? He's. Uh, what we do is we um, either watch it right away and then eat delicious cookies and hot chocolate after, or we flip-flop it. Do that first. Okay? All right? Listen up, everybody. What? Yes, I know. And this one comes from Amanda, and she... Yep. And she says that she's creating a rock calendar for the Christmas party, and if you want to be part of it, show, show it. Now, it would be a picture that you are submitting to be in the calendar. Hey, uh, Chai, you might want to submit your butterfly picture. Yeah, that, Take a picture of that. Shy. That's a good better one. Than her. Do you know, do, 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 Shai, do you, you might You're realize this, her. but a lot of people don't. Do you know that the butterfly has for hundreds and hundreds of years been a symbol of the resurrection from the dead, that Jesus oh, rose yeah. from the dead? Right, and you'll see the, um, maybe the symbol in church when you go to some churches because of, of course, Jesus was buried in a tomb on Friday. And on Sunday, uh, the, roll, the, the stone was rolled away from the front of the tomb and the angel made it clear that he, he rose from the dead. 
And that would be in regard to a butterfly like what? The butterfly was no, not a butterfly always. It was a what? Caterpillar. It was what? Caterpillars. And where was it? An egg. Before? A cocoon. Yes. And then breaking out of the cocoon and becoming a beautiful butterfly. Well, Jesus is the son of God, and he was raised from the dead and came out of the tomb. So that's cool. Because a, a, a cocoon kind of looks like a tomb. All right, and so that would be a good picture to have involved in that. We, I, we, would, could, we could add something digitally, yeah, like I a Bible can, passage about the resurrection. Yeah, as long as I get all like the stuff before the week of our Christmas party. The 22nd. Yeah, I can okay. get it all okay. together. All right, that's it with for those. So let's move on. You said you were going to announce that you're going to tell everything 24 7. Like, it's just a like, great for glory, for power. Okay, so they're thinking that it kind of gets to their head that or they, they, they think I'm all good and I, I'm, I'm powerful if I can be in control all the time. Uh, controlling other people, some people think they can do, uh, and when they don't, well, yeah, let me go from that after we get the other answers. What do you think? I was going to say, they're in an illusion. They're what? They're in an illusion if they think they, because you never know what's going to happen. Right. Traffic, if you want to get to them. Anything, exact proverb is, but the teaching is there. And that is, human beings propose a plan, and God <coughs> disposes of that plan. Not all the time but sometimes, because he knows better. In fact, a good number of times he'll dispose of the plan that you think is good for you. All right? So you got to be prepared to adjust, to adjust to God's will, to adjust to what God wants, to adjust to what God's plan is for you. And I, I'll give you a perfect example is when um, teenagers are dating. Later, Maybe they so think we'll, we'll be okay. But uh, here's my question. What did Jonah propose, and what plan did God have? You got it. He wanted them gone completely for their sins, and God wanted them to be a chance to repent. Right. And then we also see how Jonah proposed, I'm not going where God wants me to go, right? I'm going that way. <laughs> And God said, no, you're going this way. Yeah. And remember that for life, okay? Remember that for life, because your life isn't over when something bad happens, all right? It's not over like, oh, man, I'm so depressed, I'm ready to just give it all up. No, trust God and his plan. All right, he's taking you down another road. You're not going to have that as a, that person as a girlfriend or a boyfriend. It didn't work out. Not the end of the world. It'll be okay. God will bring you through, and He'll be with you through it all, all the way to heaven. Okay, okay. So here's a Bible passage, Isaiah 41:10, that kind of goes with that. When it says, "I love this passage. I use it many times to encourage and strengthen people with God's word." It says, "God says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God." I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What? Oh, you, you've had two things. Yes. Um, can I get like rock posters to play around the wall? Can you do what? Like get like like posters on the wall. We can the trash. I, I gotta bring them tomorrow because our printer isn't working right. Sam, hey, can you like? Remember uh, the Wait, Hampton stage uh, two years ago? You got a uh, wooden plank. Okay. What? You got it. That's right. I remember that. Ten panels. I can we like pray to God for a thing? Okay. Can we like pray? Okay, everybody. Respect the moment. We'll wait. Respect the moment. Anybody else got a hat on? Maybe can take it off. Uh, remembering, we like to take it off. It's a good way of showing. I always have. Okay. Yes. This is why we want to take it off. Sure. But um, I don't need to know the exact. Uh, Heart and stomach. Oh, she's having health problems. Okay, Haley's mom. Okay. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for teaching us about how you are always in control and we are not. That sometimes we think that we are or that we'd like to take control of the lives of other people and force control on them. We pray, Lord, that you have us rather trust you and your plan for us. Lead us, dear Lord, to realize that your ways are always right. 
so that we trust that and not ourselves. Lead us to first and foremost trust in our Savior Jesus for forgiveness and eternal life. We thank you for teaching us this lesson through the account of Jonah and the big fish and how you took Jonah finally to where you wanted him to be and that the Ninevites also repented and someday we'll see them in heaven. We thank you for your grace in Christ our Savior. What a plan you put into place that through him we have eternal life. We also, dear Lord, uh, thank you for your plan in our lives as you use everything for our eternal good. As we've talked about people who are going through sickness or hurting, uh, we pray that you continue to heal them like Santana and that uh, you be with Haley's mom and, and bless her also and the care that's being given to her, that all things be done right and according to your, your will and plan for them. Lead them also, dear Lord, to trust you, to know that you always have it right. We pray also for the hunters that are still out there, that you keep them safe and be with them uh, with protection. We also pray, dear Lord, that uh, you would be with all of the teens here and give them a childlike faith in their Savior. And in his name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm